Lesson 6, Hydrostatic uh, Pressure. So, for this uh, video, we'll be introducing the concept of hydrostatic pressure. So, I think uh, sa title pa lang, na medyo may hint na tayo kung ano yung mangyayari dito. No? So, hydrostatic meaning, from the word static, yung fluid natin is at rest. So, walang motion, stationary yung uh, object natin. And then, uh, pressure is, uh, of course, caused by the force exerted by your fluid to surfaces no? or your medium na uh, dinadaluyan niya. Okay? So that's hydrostatic pressure, but uh, again, just a review, uh, pressure is uh, the ratio of normal force to an area. So, ibig sabihin, ratio, we have normal force divided by area. So, again, normal is uh, when your force is perpendicular to your contact area. Ibig sabihin, meron kang 90 degree na angle dito. No? So, this is your force, the force vector, and then this is your area. So, in terms of pressure, pag sa fluid mechanics, meron tayong uh, absolute gauge and vacuum pressure. So, absolute is yung uh, measured natin from absolute zero and then gauge is yung measured natin from a specific gauge or meter. So, yung mga barometer natin, uh, yun yun, no? yung lumalabas sa mga barometer is yung gauge pressure natin. So, zero gauge pressure equals uh, 101 kilopascals absolute or that's one atmospheric pressure, okay? So, 1 ATM is actually 101 kilopascals absolute. So, that's uh, absolute and gauge. Vacuum pressure natin is somewhere here. No? It's actually a positive value if we base it in uh, absolute uh, zero, pero negative gauge siya. Okay? So, less than gauge pressure, which is... Uh, dito na kasi yung zero. No? So, somewhere dito, ito na yung vacuum pressure natin. So, uh, these are the following uh, relationship. Pwede natin makuha, for example, if given tayo ng gauge, gauge pressure kasi ito mamemeasure lang naman to gamit yung mga barometer natin so if we're given with gauge tapos uh, kukunin natin yung uh, absolute we just have to uh, add no atmospheric pressure plus uh, gauge pressure so atmospheric pressure is just equals, uh, just equivalent to 101 kilopascals or 14.7 um, pounds per square inch psi and then, pag vacuum naman, for example, yung binigay sa atin, you can have P absolute equals sa uh, P atmospheric minus vacuum. Kasi nga dito naman yung vacuum. And then, you have uh, P, P, P vacuum is equal to negative of gauge. Okay? So, again, dito yung gauge pressure natin. And then, magsisimula siya dito. And then, yung vacuum natin is less than zero gauge pressure. Pero, positive absolute pressure. Okay? So, yun yung kaibahan. Ang vacuum is a negative gauge, but, but uh, positive absolute and then this one, ang gauge natin is zero gauge equals uh, 101 kilopascals and that is atmospheric pressure. So, importanting, importanting malaman natin yung mga, lalo na yung gauge pressure natin. No? So, uh, pag, uh, ibig sabihin na nito na pag open sa atmosphere, ibig sabihin zero gauge pressure na yan. Okay? So, malaking bagay yan, especially pag nag-analyze tayo ng mga water tank, mga ganun. So, pag enclosed, merong pressure yung air. Pag open naman, gauge uh, pressure equals zero. But anyway, along the way, no, habang mag-discuss uh, tayo ng mga sample problem, ma-apply niya din yan, yung gauge pressure natin na uh, pag atmospheric zero. Okay? So, for this uh, slide, we'll be deriving the hydrostatic differential equation. Okay, so, take note again na yung fluid natin is uh, stationary, ibig sabihin walang motion. Pwede natin i-apply yung uh, equilibrium conditions natin for translation. Ibig sabihin, walang motion along the x and along the y. So, walang motion in terms of translation. Okay. So, to analyze, uh, para makuha yung differential equation, so differential meaning, i-analyze mo yung maliliit na particles ng isang fluid volume. So, taking for example, this particular fluid with uh, dimensions delta A and delta L, ibig sabihin, pag meron kang magitang sign dito na delta, infinitesimal uh, volume na yan, na, na unit, or particle unit lang. Okay. So, maliit lang na volume to, we have delta A, delta L. So, Again, uh, remember na yung molecules natin, for example, sa water molecules, nag exert sila ng uh, forces uh, towards and against each other. So, meron, ibig sabihin, meron kang forces dito, forces dyan. And then, that is just equivalent to pressure times A. ba? Kasi yung pressure natin is force over area. So, F equals P times A. Okay? So, yung pressure delta A, dito naman, meron kang P. And then, uh, along this length, meron kang dadagdag again na pressure. No? So, meron kang... Uh, Differential pressure, kaya meron kang P plus delta P. Okay? And then, uh, multiply mo ng delta A para makuha mo yung force din. So, yun lang. No? 
and then we have the weight of the particle which is uh, just equivalent to unit weight times volume okay because unit weight equals again weight over volume so pag kukunin mo nang yung weight multiply mo lang yung volume saka unit weight so ang volume natin is just delta l times l so area times height or length that's a uh, volume okay so applying the equilibrium in motion so along the l direction summation of forces along l equals 0 meron tayong forces due to pressure and meron tayong force due to weight okay so the force just uh, p delta a and then you have the other force p plus delta p times delta a this one so this one is positive and this one is uh, negative and then we have the l component in the direction of l of weight which is equal to ito no uh, volume times uh, unit weight times sine theta no? so ito bali yung theta sine theta is ito yung uh, l component ng ating weight which is this one okay so simplifying we'll have delta p delta a minus uh, kasi pwede mo i-subtract to no p delta a times p oh p delta a minus p delta a kasi pwede mo i-distribute yan so zero matitira dito na side is have negative delta p delta a so ito yan no and then you have the other term okay and then you can divide delta uh, divide this uh, equation by delta a delta l we will have um, delta p delta a Ang matitira dito is uh, ito na lang no delta p delta l and then dito mawawala na to equals uh, negative gamma sine alpha at uh, sine alpha equals delta z over delta l ito pala yan no sine alpha equals delta z over delta l you can replace the sine alpha with delta z delta l and then delta l will will uh, cancel out okay and then you will uh, be left with delta p over delta z equals negative of gamma now pag ililipat natin yung uh, gamma dito we have delta p equals negative gamma delta z by the way ito na talaga yung uh, ito na actually yung ano natin no oh, hydrostatic uh, differential equation so the change in pressure the ratio of the change in pressure over the change of uh, elevation equals negative gamma. So, Z here is uh, elevation. Pag ilipat natin yung delta Z dito sa kabila, meron tayong delta P equals negative of gamma delta Z. And since uh, gamma is constant throughout the volume of your fluid, pwede mong sabi na constant yung gamma. So, ibig sabihin yung delta P na relationship natin is to a negative delta Z. Ibig sabihin, Pag nasa fluid ka and then you're decreasing elevation, ibig sabihin bumababa ka, nag increase yung pressure mo. No? Di ba? Because, uh, yun nga, yung relationship nila is that at negative delta Z, positive yung pressure mo. Okay? So, uh, yan yung mga na-experience sa na mga nagda-dive sa mga malalalim na, uh, for example, sa, mala sa, sa dagat or sa pool. If, you're, if you dive, then sa deeper na part, and then as you go down, Habang nagdi-decrease yung elevation mo na nasa fluid ka, mas uh, may tendency na sasabog yung ears mo or uh, mas malaki yung pressure na na-experience mo. No? Dahil dyan sa ito, itong relationship na ito. As you go deeper, your elevation uh, decreases, therefore, pressure that you experience increases. Okay? So again, um, so, um, of course, knowing that this is constant throughout your fluid, you can integrate this actually, no? Pag integrate natin, meron na tayong pressure at specific elevation, Pz, which is just equal to P plus uh, gamma Z. Okay? And then if we divide natin yan sa gamma, meron ka ng pressure in terms of height. Okay? So, bali dito yung pressure natin is uh, nakapascals pa. No? So, for over area, so that's pascals, so megapascals, kilopascals. Uh, uh, in this equation, yung uh, pressure natin is naka uh, height na. So, meters, feet, inches. Mga ganun, no? So, ano yung uh, significance ng pag ang pressure mo is naka in terms of head? Head ang tawag actually dito, no? This is pressure head or height. Kasi, um, for example na lang in, in some applications na mag involve ng water. For example, you're trying to serve a particular community tapos yung source mo is nasa baba. And then, yung kailangan mong supply ng tubig is nasa taas. So, may, therefore, meron kang difference in elevation. So, mas, mas uh, practical, 
pag yung pressure na gusto mong abutin, di ba kasi pag sinasabi walang tubig dito, ibig sabihin hindi daw umaabot ng hindi na aabot ng tubig mo yung pressure and uh, pressure requirement, no? Kaya may na yung pressure kaya hindi maabot dun yung tubig sa point na yun, no? at a certain uh, elevation. So, yun yun, yun yung significance pag ang pressure mo is i-express mo in terms of height. Malalaman mo ngayon kung ang height ba, yun, height ba na iyon, which is representing your pressure, is higher than the elevation between the source and the, uh, yung susupply na area. So, that's one of the applications na um, mas practical na naka, in terms of height yung pressure mo rather than pascals or uh, mega pascals or yellow pascals. So anyway, or PSI. Okay. So um, since uh, it's a constant, no? therefore the energy at point one is just equal to the energy at point two. Okay. So P one gamma Z one. So it's the energy. No, meron kang pressure head and then you have the uh, elevation head at point one and two. Uh, actually, pag uh, nagmumove na yung fluid natin, dun lang magkakaroon ng tatlong components yung energy natin. Meron tayong pressure, uh, elevation, and velocity head. Pero since sa uh, hydrostatic uh, condition pa tayo, dalawa lang yung components ng energy natin. Pressure and elevation. Okay? And then, uh, just uh, rearranging this, by multiplying gamma, pwede natin ibalik dito ulit. Na? But in terms na ngayon ng energy. Na. Energy 1 equals energy 2. Okay? So, this, uh, these are all the equations that uh, we'll be using when we deal with hydrostatic pressure, okay? So, sample problem, what is the water pressure at the depth of 35 feet in the tank shown? So, meron tayong tank which is open to the atmosphere. So, ito na, ang magagamit na natin yung gauge pressure kanina na na-mention natin. So, open to the atmosphere at point 1, uh, we are required to get the pressure at point 2. So, fluid natin is water. These are the given elevations. We have the Z1. It's 250 feet, and then we have the Z at the bottom is uh, 200 feet. So, gagamitin natin yung equation kanina na in terms of height. Okay? So, given lahat ng, uh, ng uh, mga data dito. No? So, i-analyze natin at point 1 again, as I mentioned earlier, open sa atmosphere. So, wala namang naka-enclose na nakalagay dyan. So, ibig sabihin, that's uh, uh, atmospheric pressure which is equivalent to zero gauge pressure. So, ibig sabihin, zero na itong P1 natin. Z1 is given, which is 250 feet. Tapos, uh, P2 is actually the required pressure. And then, we have the Z2, which is uh, elevation at point 2, which is equivalent to 250 minus 35. Okay? So, that's 250 minus 35. That's the elevation now of point 2. Okay? So, Ulan. Ulan. So, anyway, so zero, and then you have again the given elevation to 50. This is the required uh, unit weight of water in English units is uh, 62.4. And then this is the elevation now of uh, 0 0.2, which is uh, 250 minus 35 feet. Okay, so just evaluate that's uh, 250 minus 215. That's 250 minus 35, 215. And then multiply by 62.4, you will get a pressure equivalent to uh, 2,180 pounds per square foot. Okay? So, units are consistent, feet, feet, feet. So, this is now your pressure at 0.2, which is uh, PSF. Okay? So, 2,180 pounds per square foot or just uh, 2,180 PSF. So, yeah, no? That's, uh, that's just hydrostatic pressure. So, ano yung pressure na exert ng fluid mo when it's not moving? And then, yun. The pressure at any point uh, in the volume of your fluid is uh, can be determined by using this equation. Okay. So, that's it for this uh, video. So, yun. Uh, thank you again for uh, watching and see you sa next na upload natin.